Hi everyone, Big Pony back for some brand new Monday Blu-ray shopping. Yes, look, you can see the sun is shining. I have my flowery shirt on, even though my t-shirt's a bit naff. Yes, uh, it is Monday, it is the 2nd of August, and it is time to pop off out in the lovely blue sky sunshine for some Blu-ray hunting. Where are we going today? We uh, are going today where the water is most blue. Wow, it's not really, it's kind of a murky green, but it does have ducks and swans. That's right. We are going to blue water. Oh, yes. Show me the way, baby. <laughs> I love going to blue water when it's sunny. Fantastic. Okay, so we have a list. So it's time for the five minute prologue. <laughs> so skip forward five minutes if you don't want to know what's coming out. Right, okie dokie, let's put us into the receiving position. Oh, uh, missus. <laughs> oh, Christ, Paul, it's too early for these types of innuendos. Okay, so uh, we've got a, a varied list of uh, new releases out today. Some that we will find and some that we won't find because they're like Zavi exclusives and stuff like that. The big release, the big release today, the one that won 46 Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Vocal Performance by James Corden, is of course Peter Rabbit. That's right, Peter Rabbit 2 is out today. Um, not for me it's not because I bought it over a week ago because my HMV made a mistake and put it out early but yes that's the big release today Peter Rabbit 2 on Blu-ray it's available on 4k unfortunately without a slip cover and there is also a nice double pack with both films uh, we also have a film called Promising Young Woman which I believe is an Oscar winner uh, that's got Kerry Mulligan isn't it yes a film called Under Gods, which I watched the trailer for last night and looked a bit, yeah, yeah, didn't look that good actually. We have Antebellum, yes, uh, I had that delivered a couple of days ago from the lovely guys at Witchfinder PR, so I'll be watching that one. The Holy, uh, the Holy, no, the Unholy, that actually looks good. I watched that trailer last night. We has got uh, Negan in it from uh, The Walking Dead. Um, so that might be a, a strong possibility for a pickup today. <clears throat> what else have we got? From 88 films, we have The Nun and the Devil. That's a combination, yes. And uh, we have a couple of titles from Arrow. Yes, Arrow Blu-rays, oh, are you? We have The Holy Mountain, El Topo, okay and the Sergio Martino collection. Yes. Uh, criterion, uh, we've got Blowout, yes. Uh, Wyndham's Way, Simon and Laura. I don't know who Simon and Laura are, but they look a nice couple. We also have Wally in 4K, Eva. Yes, that, <laughs> shut up Paul. That's out from uh, Zavi as part of the Disney Pixar 4K exclusives. We have a couple of steel books, obviously from Zavi, so we're not going to see them in store. We have the I Am Legend, <laughs> the 4K steel book. And we also have Deadpool 2, the 4K steel book. Uh, I believe there's also a Blu-ray version of that as well. But I did do an unboxing for that, so that unboxing will be up in the next day or so. And the last one, which uh, I'm hoping that they have in HMV, uh, is what you need when it's raining. Yes, it's an umbrella. That's right, it's not the Umbrella Corporation, it's the Umbrella Academy, season one. I have started to watch that on Fletnix, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a mishmash of kind of like X-Men, The Boys, uh, that kind of shit. Uh, and a bit of weird shit as well thrown in. I don't know what I'm talking about. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, I think it's time for us to stop waffling, get on the road, get up to Blue Water. I do need to stop off to get some diesel and a drink first. And then uh, we shall arrive in Blue Water very soon. And the timer is just coming up to 58, 
59, five minutes. I told you, it's always five minutes. Right, let's get on the road and I'll see you where the water is most blue. I hope. No, it's not really, it's murky green. Okay, it's super sunny here in blue water. Blue sky, nice and warm. So uh, I'm appropriately dressed. And then we're going to go inside away from the sun. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? If it had been crapping it down, I probably would have gone shopping outside at Maidstone. But anyway, let's go to HMV. Have a look, see what we've got today. Okay, so let's go into HMV and have a look and see what they've got in this week. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is Peter Rabbit 2 on Blu-ray. Yes, this is one I had last week, but the official release date is today. So there we go, £14.99. We also have the double pack as well for £19.99. Uh, Two rabbits for the price of almost one. <laughs> uh, we also have Antebellum. Not Lady Antebellum, but just Antebellum. I don't know what has happened to the lady. What are you talking about, Paul? Up here we have a promising one young woman. I was a promising young woman once when I was Pauline. Who wants to see Pauline back? Put your hands up. <laughs> and also we have the Unholy. And this looks scary. This has got uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yes, Negum himself. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching that one. And we have Vanquish with Morgan Freeman and Ruby Rose. Not sure if I want to pick this up. Might need to watch the trailer again. We also have El Topo from Arrow Films, £17.99p. And you can double that up with The Holy Mountain. Yes, this mountain is very holy. £17.99 as well. Uh, we also have Blowout. With, I have that every time I have a car, Toby's Carvery, I'm telling you. This has got John Travolta. Yes, everybody wants a Toby Blowout. And we also have The the Nun and the Devil, I believe that is. £24.99. Comes with a nice 40-page booklet and a limited edition rigid slipcase. Rigid slipcase. I like that sound. On the TV section, we have... At the Umbrella Academy, the complete first season, although it's not really there, you've got to ask behind the counter. Here's the DVD so we can get a good look at it. $17.99 for the DVD. I've watched a handful of episodes, really enjoy it. And here's Peter Rabbit 2 on 4K, 25 quid. No slip. Oh, Sony, what are you doing to us? But next to it, you can have the first film in the two for £30 with a slip as well. This film, uh, Under Gods, oh, I watched the trailer. I don't know what to make of it. It doesn't look that interesting. For 20 quid, I think it's cheaper on Amazon, like 12 or 13 quid or something. Uh, we have Wyndham's Way with Peter Finch and Mary Ear. Not mid -year, but Mary Ear. I don't know if they're related. They're probably not. And here's one of those crappy bumper pop culture mystery boxes, 25 quid. On the Arrow section, Arrow Blu-rays, we have the Sergio Martino collection. Really big box set here. Looks like it's got three movies, three or four movies. £44.99. If only I knew who he was. <laughs> uh, down here, this caught my eye. The Guardian. Yes, not the Guardian of the Galaxy. It's just the Guardian for £12.99. And here's a little look at some of the Batman Blu-rays for one of my uh, viewers who's requested this. So we've got all sorts of Batman stuff there. We also have the TV shows, plus also the uh, 90s movies and the Christopher Nolans as well. Batman Death in the Family. And here's a still book, Batman v the Turtles. Do you think Jamie's got this? Who am I kidding? Of course he's got it. You haven't yet. And on the collector's edition, we have lots of films for £7.99, including Baby Love, Cottage to Let. 
I like cottage cheese, but I don't know about cottage toilet. <laughs> and plus, we also have the Sweeney too, uh, and some Cliff Richard down there as well, because we're all going on a summer holiday. Hmm. On the 4K Ultra HD, here's a look at some of the box sets. We got the Planet of the Apes 4K box set, 30 quid. I bought this and it was a digipack, but now it's not. Yeah. Hmm. Get in there. And we also have the X-Men box set. This is also a digipack when I bought it, and now it's not. How strange. They must be reissues or something. Here's the Mummy collection, all three movies for £44.99. Two great films, one meh. And also the four Batman movies as well, including everybody's favourite, Batman and Robin. This film I watched a couple of days ago. This was really good, really entertaining, kind of like a stalker type film. So yeah, I, I will be reviewing it. Um, Knob, Cock, mm. Loser, and you know what that means? Prick. <laughs> <laughs> on the DVD premieres, there's that underdogs or under gods, plus the beast within. Look at the size of this mother. Holy crap, it looks like he's going to sit on it and squash it. Oh god, what a face. Uh, they don't look that scared to be perfectly honest. £7.99. Yeah, let's put that back. Down here we have Rebels of World War II. Uh, this stars Eric Roberts. It's kind of like Greyhound with Tom Hanks, but about a fraction of the budget, £7.99. I did watch the trailer. Yeah, meh. And down here we have Behind the Trees. Yes, someone's having a wee. Up here uh, we have the Suicide Squad and we have some pop vinyl figuries. Yes, we have Harley Quinn in her red dress. Plus, we also have some Rick Flag there and Bloodsport. Very nice. And here's a little shot just for you, Rob. Some Mortal Kombat pops. And down by the front, we've got Jaws on 4K and also Birds of Prey on 4K. Okay, it's time to have a look at the castle fine art. We've got some Marvel stuff in the windows here. A bit about Stan Lee there, some nice paintings and a nice drawing down here of Thanos himself. Next stop, the entertainer. Let's go and have a look, see what's entertaining. First thing I'm seeing is this Scalextric set for No Time To Die. That looks really good. I hope it's not giving too much away in the film because we don't want spoilers. Uh, yeah, that looks really good. I don't know how much it is, but Scalextric, lovely. Uh, we have, we got some Star Wars crap here. Uh, stuff that's been in here God, so many times. Uh, we have Snoke there and a bit of Ray behind, but nothing that interesting. Plus some Baby Yoda as well. Okay, so next up, the Disney Store. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is some Black Widow merchandise. We've got this really nice, thick, heavy notepad or diary here. This is uh, really nice, lovely red and black colours and we also have a cup with a logo on there uh, we've got some figures down the bottom there we also have a bit of WandaVision so we've got a WandaVision mug in there very nice and what else have we got oh yes we have some Black Widow pop vinyl figures plus also a bit of Winter Soldier there John F Walker and we have this really nice up squirrel <laughs> really nice collection of figures squirrel that's enough of that, Paul. Yes, uh, lots of bits and pieces for up here, like a little suitcase and photos and this really nice cookie jar. Oh, I'd love that cookie jar, yes. There wouldn't be any cookies in it because they'd be in my tummy. And we've got a little one there as well. Uh, what else have we got? Let's have a look. Uh, up here we have a lovely little uh, water bowl. I love my food and my human, yes. And uh, we've got all bits down here, like, I don't know what that is. That looks like a dog tag. Uh, we also have some, um, what's it called? <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Some figures there and some towels, some mugs and uh, some plush as well. And here's some Star Wars pop vinyl figures. I think these figures are from The Bad Batch. I've only seen two episodes, but 
correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, down here we have some more Rekka. I'm sure they're from the Bad Batch. Yes, very nice looking. And we also have some of the retro figures as well. Still trying to get rid of those. And up here we have some Loki figures. Very nice. I know it's time for a spud. Okay, so out of blue water, I'm back in the car. I've just had some lunch. Yes, I went to spud you like. Because when you go Blu-ray hunting, you've got to spud it. Definitely. Yes, very nice tuna, sweet corn, bit of garlic bread, and to wash it down, a lovely diet coke. Oh, the great potato, yes. Fantastic. Okay, so I picked up two in HMV. They, they were pretty good up here today. They had pretty much everything. All of the, uh, the main releases that were out were all in one area, so I didn't have to go hunting around the shop. Uh, but uh, yeah, very impressed with uh, today's little scattering of movies. Went down to the Disney store. Um, quite busy down there, so I decided to grab hold of one of the blokes. No, not like that. <clears throat> uh, one of the staff members, pull him to one side and ask him this little rumour going around about all the Disney stores in the UK closing, apart from London. And he said, I can't comment. I'm not allowed to comment. It might have been because I was holding my phone and he might have thought I was recording the conversation that I'm from the newspaper or something. Yes. But no, he can't comment. I suppose it's all going through legal stuff and bits undecided yet. So we'll see. But that was really busy. That's not even Christmas and that was busy in there. So... I know it will probably will happen, but they'll be they'll be stupid to close a Disney store in a major shopping centre. But uh, we'll have to see. They'll just lose so much money, especially at Christmas. But anyway, we are done here. Uh, it's starting to get busy now. It's nice to be able to just walk through the doors, walk through the shops, not have to worry about, oh, God, got to get me mask on, put me mask on. Oh, shit, my glasses are steaming up. It's really nice. I would say it's 50-50 up here. So half have masks, half don't have masks. And um, of course, they've got rid of all the social distancing. So if you want to stand inside someone's pocket in front, you can. <laughs> Most people are. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's really nice just to... It's kind of free. It's kind of like we've been clothed for the last year and a half and now we're naked. No, I didn't walk through Blue Water naked. That's that, well, that's one way of getting rid of everybody in the whole shop, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're getting off track. So, yeah, we're done here. So, let's go to our next stop. Uh, I'm going to stop off at Tesco's in Fo um, Ashford on the way home. Just have a quick look, see what they've got. See if they've got any uh, cheaper NAF DVDs <laughs> reduced down to three quid. And uh, we'll see uh, if they've got a display and see what they've got of Peter Rabbit. Okie dokie. Right, okay, let's get on the road. I'm going to have a swig of my drink. We'll get on the road and I'll see you in Tesco's just like that. Okay, guys, I thought I'd share something with you what I noticed coming down the motorway. I've just passed 100,000 miles on my car. Holy moly. Yeah, I knew that I was going to pass 100,000 miles within the next like week or so. I recently had a timing belt and auxiliary belt fitted um, after the 100,000 miles before we went down to the New Forest. So, yeah, 100,000 miles. Wow. Um, funny thing is, a couple of days ago, I actually got a letter. A letter? What's a letter? It's a letter from Chevrolet. Yes, apparently there is a product recall on my car. <laughs> Took them seven years to bleed and work it out. What does it say? Okay, action required. It says product safety recall. Chevrolet Trax model year 2013 to 2015. Mine is 2014. Electronic brake control module. 
Uh, our investigations has, have revealed that the brake pedal on your vehicle might potentially stick at high vehicle interior temperatures, causing the brake lights to stay on unnecessarily. To address this issue, we will program the electronic brake control module with new software to detect this and enable a warning message to be displayed that informs the driver if this if this her uh, if this issue occurs. <laughs> the service message will warn the driver to visit a workshop for repair. This work will be carried out completely free of charge by any authorised Chevrolet repairer under warranty. So let's go back to the dealership that I bought my car from. Uh, Perry's. That's actually now just a Ford and um, Vauxhall dealer. They don't have any dealings with Chevrolet anymore. So I phoned up the Chevrolet customer services, gave them my details, gave them my address so I can find the nearest dealer to me. Apparently, guess how many Chevrolet dealers there are in the whole of the UK? one in Surrey so my options are to take my car to Surrey to hook it up for a com to a computer for an hour <laughs> ah flipping Nora yes uh <sighs> unbelievable but um he did say he was going to get back to me he's given me a reference number he was going to get back to me with uh, a possibility of maybe a nearer dealer he was going to do a bit of a search to see who's got the, the software or the technology where they can download it onto the car. But I, if I can't do that, then it's either leave it uh, or take it to a Chevrolet dealer in Surrey. Thankfully, Surrey's not that far from me. It's not like, you know, the only dealer in the country is in Scotland. You know, it's not, it'll only take me an hour, an hour and a half to get to Surrey. So it's not too bad. But anyway, that's the that's the little thing with the car. So we have just arrived here at Ashford. Um, what in the hell is going on with the weather? Cloudy, miserable. It's going to rain hard in a minute. I just left Blue Water. It was like 24 degrees, blue sky and sunshine. And it was hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Now, I did say we were going to go to Tesco's, but I figured let's go to Ashford Town Centre first. Uh, because we have CEX Poundland and a charity shop or two. So let's go and have a look in those. Um, and then we can go back down to Tesco's on the way home. And now I just tried uh, to download the NCP Park Pass app so that I could pay rather than going to the machine. I looked at all the reviews. I'm not even going to attempt it because some people have been charged three times and the app apparently is just crap. It's a crap app. <laughs> yes, so it's back to the old machines over there to pay with cold hard card. Yeah, not cash, because it doesn't accept cash, only accepts cards. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go and get a ticket for the car, get into the town and go and have a look in CEX, followed by Poundland, followed by maybe one or two charity shops. Oh, perfect. The escalator coming up is moving, but the one going down isn't. Oh my God, that is such a weird experience. Getting on an escalator that's not moving. As soon as you step foot on it, you kind of wobble. You think that you're actually moving. You expect to be moving. That's a weird sensation. Okay, let's go into YMCA. Go and have a look, see if they've got anything in there. Well, they haven't got any Blu-rays, but they've got lots of TV box sets in here. A couple of seasons of The X-Files. We've got Hex there, some Bones. Uh, we have Boston Legal and some Spooks there as well. Uh, brilliant series there, uh, Dead Like Me. I do uh, already own this, but seriously, pick that up and watch that if you can. Uh, we have some Alien as well and some Two Towers. More seasons of Bones, Men in Black. And, oh, what is that? Clint Eastwood? Looks like a Clint Eastwood double pack. That's very nice. Comes with a really nice slip cover as well. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, up here we've got some Life on Mars. And uh, yeah, Smallville there. And Okay, so next stop, let's pop into CEX and have a look. See if they've got anything new. 
Okay, so first thing I'm seeing here is the Samurai Collection for £35, the Akira Kau is it Kurosawa? Uh, I don't know how many there are. It looks like maybe four or five films in here for £35, so that's pretty good. Uh, we also have Alien vs Predator, uh, the box set, so that's both films with a slipcover for five quid. And here we have the Babadook, also £3.50 with a slipcover. And we also have Baby Driver as well, so that's pretty good on 4K. Uh, one season of Banshee for £6, I'm trying to find them with slipcovers. Uh, we do have Hidden uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon as well with a slip. And look at this, this lenticular, Cape Blanchett, Brad Pitt, Cape Blanchett, Brad Pitt, Cape Blanchett, Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's enough of that, Paul. Very nice. Not seen that one before. Uh, I've seen this one before, The Great Gatsby, for £2, with a nice uh, 3D lenticular slip there. And we have Hacksaw Ridge for 4K, at £6. This is an almost mint slip cover. That is a brilliant deal, six quid. We also have Mortal Kombat as well, £20 on 4K, bit steep. And Mr. Robot as well, I think it's the first three seasons for £25. And we also have here Memento, yes this should be on 4K. And Season 2 of Preacher, uh, this comes in a, a, a larger box than the first one. Okay, so next stop is Poundland. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything, I doubt it. Grumble, 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 son of Rambo. Oh, grumble, 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 spy next door. Yeah, unfortunately, same old shit. So let's go and check out another charity shop. We'll get a coffee and then we'll go back to the car. Okay, so we have the PDSA here and British Heart Foundation just up there. So we'll go and check out both of them, see if they've got anything. Well, they do have some Blu-rays, but nothing worth picking up. They have Saw 3D. I think I'll leave that one. <laughs> uh, we have Limitless down here. A few other bits and pieces. Uh, but nothing that took my interest. No, nah, there's a couple down here as well, but nothing worth picking up. This is just for you, Kermit. Yes. Okay, so out of Ashford Town Centre, I got myself a coffee. There was a queue in... Costa and there was a queue in Greg's right out on the pavement so I went into Cafe Nerd and got myself a nice cappuccino very nice um, didn't pick anything up to be perfectly honest in any of those shops uh, not really anything in the charity shops lots of DVDs there was a lot of TV box sets in the YMCA that we first went in um, dead Dead Like Me, that's a fantastic series. So I do already have it, but uh, that's definitely worth picking up. You know, if you uh, if you haven't seen that series, fantastic series. Um, Poundland, yeah, no, 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 not a chance in hell freezes over. Uh, while in CEX, I did bump into one of my lovely viewers, one of my lovely subscribers. I didn't get your name. I'm so sorry. But we had a bit of a natter for 10 minutes. Uh, decided that uh, Poundland really did sell a lot of old shit. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, mate, though. Um, oh, it's always nice meeting my viewers. <laughs> have a bit of a chatter and a bit of a natter. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we are done here. It has started raining. <sighs> we go from blue sky to rain in like an hour. Anyway, let's go to our last stop of the day, which will be Tesco's. We'll go and have a look in there, and then I'll show you what I picked up. And uh, I don't think there's going to be more than two things. So unless there's something in Tesco's, probably just going to be two things today. But anyway, let's go to Tesco's. Okay, so we're here at our last shop today. Tesco's, let's go in, have a look, see what they've got. Oh my word, Tesco's has a stand for Peter Rabbit too. Uh, it's only got DVDs in it, but apparently if you buy the Blu-ray and the DVD, you can take one of those weird Wii U digital code things with you, if you want one. But here up on the Blu-rays, we have two G.I. Joe movies for £10 on Blu-ray. Jumanji's for £10 as well. And down here we have The Unholy. I'm surprised that Tesco's is actually stocking The Unholy. And here is Peter Rabbit 2 as well, uh, £15. 
Uh, on the DVDs, uh, we do have The Unholy plus Promising Young Woman. Uh, they for £10, plus also Antebellum and Vanquish as well. I really need to watch the trailer to see what this is like. It's got Morgan Freeman. It's got to be good. But then it's got Ruby Rose. So you don't know. £7 anyway. Uh, and we also have that Rebels of World War II and that beastie thing. A project I Ithaca. Ith Ithaca? Ithaca. Yeah, okay. Uh, intelligent science fiction, alien meat, anaconda. What, there's snakes in space? Well, you've had snakes on a plane, I suppose so. What else have we got? Usual stuff here. Uh, we do have this endangered species for £7, which according to Geordie Paul is a no-no. So I think I'll put this one back, even though it's got the bloke from Sliders in it. Sliders. And here's those digital codes for Peter Rabbit as well. And some Suicide Squad figures as well, some pop finals. We have Harley Quinn in a completely different outfit than the one that was in the other shop. She was in the dress in the other one. And we also have some pop heroes, I think that is. Harley there and also the Joker as well, looking very Jokerish. We have some Cruella Pops and we also have a pink Superman up here. Yes, this is on behalf of uh, Breast Cancer right? breast cancer research i believe yes it is that's why it's pink it's something special but it's not 30 quid that's something else what else have we got oh yes we've got a big hulk buster figure here and uh, another suicide squad uh, we have blood sport very nice pop final figures okay so yes i am back to the car out of tesco's uh, Peter Rabbit stand? Wow, wasn't expecting that. So they still do have the big cardboard stands. So not as big as we used to have in some of the stores, wow. But uh, it's great that they've still got things like that. They only had DVDs in that stand, uh, but they did have the Blu-rays there as well. Didn't have any 4K or, I uh, don't think they had a, they have the double pack, I can't remember. I've only just come out of the store and I've forgotten what was in there. <laughs> but they did have the Unholy. I wasn't expecting the Unholy to be on a supermarket shelf on Blu-ray. Wow. Interesting. Uh, DVDs, the same as what we saw in HMV in Blue Water, plus an extra one or two as well that, that they didn't show, including some space film. But... Uh, Pop vinyl figures, some good pop vinyls in there. Uh, some Suicide Squad ones for £10. And a few other bits and pieces, including a pink Superman. Uh, and I had to take a look at that because I was thinking, why the hell is Superman pink? I picked up two today. That's all I picked. Oh, I picked up two and something else, which I will show you last because uh, I've got a bit of a dilemma. And there's an ointment for that. Okay, so first of all, Antebellum, I did not pick that up because if you saw my previous video, I had that delivered from uh, the PR company, Witchfinder, for me to watch and review. Uh, I already did an unboxing, but I did pick up The Unholy. I picked that up in HMV. Uh, this is from producer Sam Raimi. Be careful who you pray to. I watched the trailer for this. This looks really good. I'm probably going to get told it's not that good. But, um, yeah, look at that. That's scary. Uh, from the producer of Don't Breathe an Evil Dead, we've got Negan himself there. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, something about uh, a woman that can heal people or something like that, but uh, from what I get from the trailer. But I'm definitely, uh, definitely up for it. It definitely impressed me on the trailer. So if a trailer grabs my attention, then I'm going to pick it up. So that is the unholy. That was $14.99. So let's unbox it. We might as well unbox it now rather than waiting till we get home. I don't think I've had anything else delivered today. Okay, we've probably just got one disc. Yeah, one disc with the artwork. Different artwork than what's on the front. So that's pretty good. Does it say special features? It don't look like we've got any special features. It's just the feature film. 
uh, audio is in English and all the other languages 5.1 DTS master audio uh, and it's 99 minutes and region free so yes that is the unholy the next one picked up uh, is a series that I've recently started watching on Netflix it's the umbrella uh, Academy uh, and I'm only in three episodes so far but I'm really enjoying it and I did have a little sneak peek at trailer two, a uh, trailer for season two, and that looks even better. Plus, it also states on Netflix that there is another season coming, so that's good. One thing about this though, this was only nineteen pound ninety nine for the first season, so that's pretty good. From what I understand, the American release of this has a lenticular front, has a lenticular cover. So uh, surprised that we didn't get a lenticular on the cover, but. Uh, I'm interested in watching the rest of this and find out where the story goes. Let's unbox it. I think you get a couple of extras in here, like some art cards. And It's nice that it's only like $19.99 for a complete season, rather than, you know, we used to pay like nearly 30 quid for half a season. <laughs> so yes, it's all nice and glossy. So we have a nice glossy front there. And then we have the spine. And then some nice pictures and information on the back there. Uh, special features. I can't see it on the outside here. It probably has got special features. So let's take that out. So it's a flimsy box. What you'd normally get with things like Vampire Diaries or Supernatural. So not a hard case. Oh, hello. What have we got? Oh, okay. We've got a poster. Wow, I didn't know we were getting a poster with it. How do you open it? Oh, cool. Yeah, so we get a rather large poster, which is uh, pretty much just the, the same as what's on the uh, outside of the box. And then we get some art cards as well, some glossy art cards. So we have, uh, looks like different characters on each, each of them. So we have Lufa. And then we have Diego and then Allison, Klaus, <laughs> number five, and Vanya. Fantastic. And it says Netflix down the bottom there. And it has information on the back of each of those, so it tells you about the character. So that's pretty good and then the actual case itself just the standard MRA case we have artwork on the disc I believe the American version doesn't have artwork on their discs so uh, we have the umbrella Academy there it looks like we have the same artwork on all discs but inside we have episode guides as well it tells you which episodes are on each disc Yeah, so that's brilliant. So that's quick reference. And I also believe the US version um, has one of those stupid eco cases as well. So uh, <laughs> at least we don't get a ridiculous eco case. So that is the only two pickups today. Um, I'm kind of like holding off a little bit on any urgent pickups uh, because we have the Birmingham trip coming up in less than two weeks oh my god i cannot believe it um and then um i'll be meeting up with evander slayer reviews uh, for a bit of blu-ray hunting as well after that fantastic so what else did i pick up right i picked up this i saw this on the counter and i was humming and hawing and i i asked the bloke behind the counter what am i supposed to do with it do I consume it or do I keep it as a 100th anniversary keepsake? It's a bar of HMV chocolate. A bar of HMV chocolate. I don't think HMV is leaving the high street anytime soon. If they're starting to promote their own merchandise, what with Nipper, the mugs, chocolate bars, the potential to open 10 new experience stores. I think HMV sticking around for the foreseeable future. 
it gets crossed anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to look a right mug. And I've already got one of them. <laughs> right, so what do I do with it? Well, it's £1.59. I said to him, should I keep it? He goes, well, buy one and then um, buy one, eat one, keep one. But what's the point in keeping it? Tell you what, my fridge at home, on the top of my fridge, I've got two Buffy the Vampire Slayer Easter eggs. You know, you get them with the, with the mugs. I bought them in about 1999 or 2000. So they are over 20 years old, still wrapped up. Uh, I don't know what colour the egg is, but <laughs> I think I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Let's let's toast to HMV and, and their success. Oh, it's actually a nice thick bar as well. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what it's like. Oh, silky. Mmm. Mmm. Melts in your mouth. That's the true taste of HMV. I can taste the physical media in my mouth. <laughs> Mm. That's nice. I was going to say I saved the rest for when I get home and give it to Dad. In my kidding, I'm going to eat it in the car on the way home. <laughs> Fantastic. So that is today's Blu-ray hunt done. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick down in the comments, whatever you want really. <laughs> Stick down in the comments what you picked up today. On what you had delivered don't forget to subscribe don't forget if you missed my live chat last night on sunday with a slayer reviews evander you had a nice chat for two two and a bit hours then the replay is available we did have some uh, guests turn up in the comments including dave durant uh, we had susan movies and sue uh, we had Bonnie, Sue's mum, and we also had Tony in America as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, keep on buying physical media because we need to show those digital people that physical is king. Yes. I want to get physical. Physical. No, I'm never going to get physical, am I? <laughs>